Welcome back. It's been three days now since the Patel family is displaced from their home. The family is now under a roof of cow shed as their house is demolished. The family is rendered homeless ever since the Airport Authority of India demolished nine homes belonging to poor families. But the authorities say the houses were illegal and there will not be any rehabilitation of the affected families. It's a matter of grave injustice and insensitivity towards the humans. But what makes it even more shocking is the people who did it. Here is a family who has been rendered homeless not because of any natural calamity but because the airport authority of India's administration. Authority has decided to construct a housing colony for the AAI elites. This is the story of Paridevi Patel and other eight families who lost their homes after the Special Land Acquisition Officer of Mopai Airport Cell demolished her house. They were cruelly left to fend for themselves in the harsh weather. Paridevi was residing here for the last 45 years. The families had received notices a few days back. BJP spokesperson Rajendra Arlekar along with Jayan Jadav visited the Patel family at Daboli. When we contacted Deputy Collector of Mormugao, Levinson Martins, he said, it is not the policy of the government to provide rehabilitation to the affected families as there was no provision. He said, the houses were illegal and also added that all the claims of the occupants are false. It is not a policy of the government that you have encroachment and you have to do the other thing. It is not a policy. In the fall in the road, there was a special scheme formulated by the government and under which, as a project affected persons, people have been, uh, people will be rehabilitated. There is a different issue altogether. As a word, that is not the case. If you have encroachment, you have to do the other thing. There is no policy for you. A reporter from Daboli, Surendra Madhkekar for Prudent Media. Now that's a really sad state of affairs. Customs officials at Daboli Airport on Friday arrested one person for carrying white gold chains. The person had concealed the chains under an artificial kneecap. The gold that weighed 3.8 kgs was worth 51 lakhs. Custom officials at Daboli Airport on Friday arrested one Sayyad Masba Mohammed from Batkal. After his arrival at Daboli Airport, custom officials suspected him while he was passing through the Green Channel. The custom officials frisked him, which turned out nothing. But when they frisked his clothes, they found artificial plastic kneecaps attached to his knees. Under these caps, the officials found chains of white gold wrapped on his legs, which weighed 3.8 kgs, amounting to 51 lakhs. Our officers were in the intelligence officer. Intelligence unit, as a one superintendent, Grish Lotlikar and others, we observed normally the passenger, how they walk and all that. He kept his suspected one person, they followed him, and then he walked through the green channel. He never came to the red counter or anything to declare. When he was going out, then he intercepted him, and asked anything to declare, he said nothing. Then only the personal search and all that, they could not find, but still they had doubt. And they found by lifting the this thing that he had hidden gold, 3.8 kilos, in the kneecap, which was cleverly concealed. And that was recovered, which was approximately rupees 51 lakhs. The accused was travelling in a Qatar Airlines flight from Doha to Goa. He was produced before the GMFC Vasco and was remanded to seven days custody at Sada Jail. A reporter from Vasco, Surendra Matkaikar. Residents of Vamkade are opposing the road widening in their village. They have formed a committee under the banner of Diversion National Highway 4A Action Committee to oppose the plans. They say that villages like Khandepar will be wiped out if the proposed plan goes ahead. Under the banner of Diversion NH4A Action Committee, the residents of Varkane are opposing the road expansions in their village. The residents claim that the company Wilbur and Smith have not seen the ground reality while suggesting the route to be taken. They claim that villages like Kandepar will be wiped off if the road is widened. They also claim that their earlier suggestions to construct a bypass have not been considered by the government. <laughs> 
म्हणजे ग्राउंड हाजेर हे नसना ग्राउंड रियलिटी पळेनासना सायड पळेनासना तांच्यांनी हो प्लॅन केला असा आणि तो गोवा गव्हर्मेंटान आणि ना हे केला असा एक्सेप्ट केला असा अनादर मेंबर ऑफ द कमिटी अक्षय कांदे पारकर क्वेश्चन वाय द इलेक्टेड रिप्रेझेंटेटिव्ह वेक अप ओली वेन पीपल स्टार्ट एजिटेटिंग तेन्ना नॅशनल हायवेच्या ऑथॉरिटीज आशिल्ले राजीव कला मंदिरात नॅशनल हायवे ऑथॉरिटी मनीस ना इट वील बाय ह्यूज कॉस्ट इनकार्ड ऑन दिंग इफ यू टेक अ टोटल डायवर्जन ताका आम प्रश्न केला ह्यूज कॉस्ट कसलो वॉट ह्यूज कॉस्ट इज देर नंबर वन यू आर डुईंग अ हायवे ऑन द एक्झिस्टिंग हायवे विच इज देर थंय तुमचा कॉस्ट इनकार जायना लोकांक तुम्ही रिव्हॅडिलेशन करतले वाढयतले डेमोलिशन ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर दिस कॉस्ट इज इन्वॉल्व वेर एज वॉट वी आर प्रोजेक्टिंग यू इज अ टोटल न्यू हायवे वेर नथिंग इज देर द कमिटी नाव प्लॅन्स टू पर्स्यू द इश्यू सिरियसली अलॉंग विथ द पीपल they have decided to hold a public meeting on june 19th along with certain politicians our reporter vivek prabhu it's time for yet another short break stay tuned